Hi, my name is Melissa. Um, people have known me for my whole life as Glenn. Um, I am transgender. I live in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, this is just a start of videos which I'm going to do to show my progress through um, the transition um, process. Um, I don't live full time as a woman yet. Um, I only basically dress at home. Um, I have gone out in public a few times. Um, but you know, this is just um, my first video. Um, I will do some other videos about how I told my wife, uh, Karen, um, and also our kids, um, and how they are. I told them about six months ago, I told my wife about six months ago. Uh, I started seeing counsellors and doctors after after that. I was due to start, or was hoping to start, the hormone treatment uh, last Tuesday, but my blood pressure was a bit high, um, so it's been delayed a little bit. Um, I hope when I go back on the 27th, I hope we'll be starting then. Um, I have started to transition so to speak, of the things that I can do, like clothes I'm wearing, you know, even out in public I'm wearing more feminine clothing, um, paint my fingernails and wear jewellery and stuff, got my ears pierced, which was pretty cool. Um, and um, yeah, so when, when I, I told my wife Karen first, um, then and after that I went to the doctor and she referred me to the right people to see and I chose to see counsellors first to um, make sure I was got my head, head right first before I started doing anything um, and after that I hadn't anticipated to tell anyone else for quite a period of time I thought I was going to just um, wait till it got to a point where it was very noticeable or no, became noticeable but I ended up having to tell people because of just anxiety and, and stuff like that and um, I, I was quite amazed with the, the support that I've received um, firstly with Karen she was obviously very upset or very confused when I told her uh, I was very worried for about a month that she was going to leave me or kick me out or that sort of thing. Um, but since she come to understand, she's become very supportive and I love her very much and um, it's been really, really good. Um, I told a couple of close friends and obviously they were shocked. Um, but very supportive, same as my sister and other family members. Um, I sort of thought people would have guessed or something, but I must have been able to hide it very well. Uh, when I came out at work, um, I first spoke to the HR lady who's in Brisbane in Australia, and obviously very nervous when I told her. Um, she was very reassuring. Um, said, you know, obviously my job was secure. Um, sorry, uh, I got interrupted by my son. Um, you know, we were sorry, talking about the HR lady. She was, she was very reassuring, and she said that the company supports diversity in the workplace, stuff like that. Um, then the next step was obviously to tell the the big boss um, of, of New Zealand, um, or the company in New Zealand I should say, not, not boss of New Zealand, um, and I wasn't going to tell him for a while but I had the email written and I pressed send and uh, then we had a meeting and that was very, very, very reassuring um, and then I had to tell my manager which was obviously very nervous as well because I've known my manager for about 20 years because uh, I've worked in the industry with him uh, 
um, alongside him, or not with him, but I've known him for about 20 years. And his first thing said, he, nothing changes, he's still, he's still a friend, still welcome at his house, all that sort of stuff, that was really cool. Um, and then we basically went through and told a few of the other staff, and then I got to the point where I um, just wrote a letter, went around and told all the rest of the staff, I think there's about 30 odd people in, in the building, and just gave them a letter, said, read this, please come back to me and, and stuff. Most, most of the guys and, 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 um, and ladies have been fantastic. Um, I think there's a few people that struggle a little bit, but it's understandable, I guess, and I hope with time they all come around. You know, it hasn't stopped, it hasn't stopped my work or ability to work with anybody, um, but it's just sometimes feels a bit funny. But um, you know, and, 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 I, and I, I still dress as a male predominantly, apart from a few feminine things like jewelry and stuff. Um, then I started to come out to a few more friends, um, and that's been very. Very humbling, I think. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but people that I thought would have been dead against it, or, or um, because of their beliefs or their opinions that I remember from many, many, many years ago, like obviously when we were teenagers and stuff. You know, you you, you remember conversations and stuff, but their um, support has been amazing. Um, you know, and, and especially people that I class as good friends, and I obviously want to have a continued relationship with them. Um, afterwards, you know, I'm quite nervous when I tell people. Um, also, I actually am a member of um, the Freemasons in New Zealand. Um, when I I've been a member for about ten years, uh, I've. I've been very active in Freemasonry, I've loved Freemasonry and it's um, been a very good thing for me to learn stuff and also get me very active. Um, so it stopped me thinking about all sorts of stuff. Um, when, when you're busy, you know, your mind's busy, it keeps, keeps going. When I started coming out to people I rang the Grand Master, who's, say, the head of Freemasonry in New Zealand, um, which was Mark Winger, um, and I told him, and I said, basically, I think my time in Freemasonry is coming to an end, because it is a male-only organisation, um, and I told him why, and it was it was very reassuring. He said, he said don't don't quit. Um, you know, you can resign at any time, it's just like anything else, you can resign if you choose to. Um, but he said not to, and, and they've been having discussions and stuff, and as of Thursday just been, so the 6th of November I think it was, um, I haven't been to a lodge meeting for a while because I did feel quite uncomfortable when in a room of 30 or 40 other guys, um, and I had this big secret and no one knew. Um, but I actually asked one of the senior members who I told a little, well, uh, sorry, told a little while ago. And so he made an announcement about what's happening. Um, and I'll be, and, you know, letting everyone have their time to process that information and, and see where I sit in the, in the, in the lodge still. Um, there is changes coming about, like the Grand Lodge of England. Earlier this year, um, un unbeknown to me at the time, but they had changed a rule, um, a po there's a policy, sorry, about transgender people. Um, if you obviously you join as a male and you transition, you can still continue to be a, a member of the lodge, and that's it seems to be New Zealand will be following suit. Um, but I still don't know how that fits in with me in Freemasonry. You know, there may be members of my lodge who 
um, do not agree and rather than cause disharmony in, in a lodge um, I will, will st stay, stay back um, will stay away until such time I'm able to if, I, if I'm able to or if I'm not able to I'm always there to support my lodge and other lodges in the background and whatever they need um, what else one thing I found very beneficial was talking to their counsellors um, who obviously specialise with transgender people um, and that was very beneficial you know, they, they, they asked lots of questions and made me think about things and stuff like that and, made, and, and, and he got me to do a got me to do a timeline of um, times in my life um, when I thought of stuff or whatever um, and that was all really interesting um, so yeah the whole process so far has been really really good um, but it was a bit of a um, quite a bit depressing when, when, when I couldn't start because of my blood pressure but that's something we're working on and hopefully when I see the next time everything will be okay um, and the dog's just running around now um, so you know that's my first video there will be other videos uh, I'll have other videos where Karen will be on, on here as well my wife and maybe even the kids um, but yeah, thank you hopefully um, someone might watch this. Okay, thanks, bye.